Hey guys, Lawrence here from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I will show you how to import the data from the demo store so you can have your web store up and running quickly as possible. So here I'm at the themeforest.net, looking at the journal 2 theme here. And go ahead and click the live preview. And here you have 10 demo stores. And let's say that you like the demo store number two so go ahead and click on that and what we have to do now is log in to the back end of this demo store and then export the data and then import the data in our store so in order to do that go to the address bar at the top and just add in the word admin a d m i n and then press enter and for the username and password Enter demo, D-E-M-O, D-E-M-O. Click login and click the journal 2 at the top here. Go to settings and then go all the way down to import export. Click on that. And here under the export, you have the action says export right here, right? And I will make sure that you have the include store data and add dummy images off because if you have these on, it will overwrite anything that you have in your current store. Only time I would use the on is when you have the fresh installation of the open card, and you can turn it on and then export. But for our case, um, I'm just gonna leave it off and click export. And it downloaded this file here, so I would have to go to the my downloads folder and it downloaded this .sql file and now we have to log into the back end of our store and import this file so let's go ahead and do that so I'm already logged in to my back end let's go to the settings import export and now instead of choosing the export click import and then make sure it's all checked here below choose file and then click the .sql file click open and let's go ahead and click restore okay it's done let's click the storefront and check out our front end now And as you can see, we imported the data from demo store number two. Obviously, we're missing a lot of images. That's because uh, a lot of those images are for demonstration purposes only, and they cannot be used for live stores. So this is a good starting point for setting up your store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.